In this video I'm going to show you how you can replace the old UTMZ cookie of the classic version of Google Analytics with a tag that you can implement with Google Tag Manager to set a source cookie which will record all the different sources that the user came from to visit your page. Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how we can replace the UTMZ cookie with a cookie that we set with Google Tag Manager and this will be a simple source cookie. Before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you want to follow along with this video, head over to gtmtraining.com slash source cookie where you can download the source cookie template that we have prepared for you so you don't have to copy paste the different configurations into your account but rather upload it straight away to your Google Tag Manager installation. So if you had previously the classic analytics version running on your page, you might have noticed that is a cookie set by Google Analytics called the UTMZ cookie. Now I have on this page the classic version of Google Analytics deployed. And if you look into the developer tools, we can see under the resource tab and under the cookies, which cookies have been set on this browser. And we see this UTMZ cookie which is set by Google Analytics and which will tell you the last known source that the user came from. This can be hugely valuable to some marketers if they want to port that information over to other tools such as a form and transfer that directly into their CRM when somebody signs up to their service. So the UTMZ cookie always held that information available in this cookie. We just needed to read it and then transferred into a tag or form fields or wherever we wanted to store that information. Now, unfortunately, if we change over to the universal version of Google Analytics, then you'll notice that we don't have the UTMZ cookie available anymore. Let's refresh here. and get rid of all our cookies first. So we start with a clean slate. And we see that the new version of Universal Analytics doesn't set the UTMZ cookie anymore and we don't have that information available because Google Analytics nowadays does this server side. So there's no way to retrieve the information where the user came from the Google Analytics cookie. So I worked on a workaround here at gtmtraining.com. If you head over to gtmtraining.com slash source cookie, you'll be able to download our template. And with this template, you can simply install this by going to your admin panel and clicking on import container and then choose your container file and just simply select the source cookie template. And then you can choose to override or merge it with your account. I would always merge it and rename it if there are any conflicting tags, triggers or variables. Let's continue this and it will import one new tag, one, three triggers and nine variables. Let's confirm this. And now our cookie is installed. Before we look into the details, let's try it out. Let's refresh our preview and debug mode and go over to our demo site and look into the cookies first of all, so we can make sure that all of them are deleted. And we start clean here. Let's go into cookies and wipe out the cookies that are already present. Now let's simulate that we come from the UTM source Facebook to the page. And we see a new source cookie that we have installed called Facebook. Now let's simulate some other sources here. Let's say we come from the email channel and I enter the page again and the cookie is actually refreshed and now holds the previous visit 
of Facebook and our newest visit of the newsletter. So what if we come from a completely different website like google.com? Let's search for our demoshop.com and once we click on this first result here, we should come from the search engine and look into our cookies again and now it has been appended again and this time the referrer source was appended with google.com. So every time the user enters the page again, our cookie will append the source if there are UTM parameters or the referrer information if the user comes from another website. And we also have built in support for the GCL ID from Google AdWords. So if somebody comes from Google AdWords, this will also be seen as a new referrer and the source AdWords will be added to our source cookie. So this is in essence what this new tag does and we can use that information for different purposes. We won't discuss this in this video, but in one of the next videos, I'll show you how you can port that information, for example, into a form field. But let's look at this source cookie in detail for those people who are interested. Let's go back to our Google Tag Manager and actually see what has been installed. First of all, we'll start with the tags. We have a tag here that is the source cookie tag. This is the tag that sets our cookie on the landing page. And there are three different triggers attached to this tag that will turn true when the user comes from a different referrer that is outside of our domain. And we actually have a video on this landing page trigger as well, which you can watch. Then we have a new UTM trigger, which just looks into the URL and sees if there are UTM parameters in there and a GCL ID trigger, which will turn true once there is traffic coming through AdWords with those auto tagged URLs. And this will deploy our source cookie tag. Now there are dependencies on variables. Let's look into the variables that were created. First of all, we have our GCL ID, which just looks into the parameter and pulls out whatever value is stored in the parameter of the URL. And we have the same for the UTM source, which are dependencies on our triggers. Thirdly, we have a variable that simply reads our source cookie and stores it in this variable. Other dependencies rely on you enabling your page URL and your referrer, which is very important. Now let's look into the most important tag, the tag that actually sets the cookie. And there are different things happening here. Don't wanna overwhelm you with the code, but what we simply do is pull the referrer and if there's a referrer available, we will go through and remove the HTTP part of the URL. So we have a short URL that we can save. Then we have a function that creates our cookie and then the logic how the cookie is created. We basically look into the source cookie, find out is there already a source cookie available. If yes, we will append this pipe to the source cookie. Then we'll go through and find out is there a UTM source available. If yes, we will put this into the cookie. If there's a GCL ID, then we'll put that into the cookie and if there's none, of that at all, we would look into the referrer and try to take our referrer and store that into the cookie. And that way we can ensure that all the visits get a source appended to it in our source cookie. Now, there are some downsides to this approach. First of all, direct traffic doesn't get counted at all, which is also typical for Google Analytics because the last direct will be ignored. The second drawback here is that this is not based on a session cookie. So if a user enters the page within a session multiple times, then we would append a new source every time to the cookie. 
And last but not least, if the user reloads the page on the landing page itself, this could lead to a double tracking of the source inside of the cookie. But other than that, it pretty closely resembles what information you can pick up with this UTM Z cookie. And therefore I find it a quite elegant solution if you're using Google Tag Manager anyways already to implement this via this way. And this is already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. Let me know what you think in the comments and if there are any things that I need to explain a little bit better for you to use this source cookie. But please also try it out for yourself on your website and let me know if you find any things that we can improve. You can find our cookie template at gtmtraining.com slash source cookie. I'm Julian, till next time.